The Ukrainian army has finally launched a strike on Crimea. There is a large Russian military base in the small town of Novofedorivka. Fifteen rockets flew there in just 30 minutes. There were hits on the military unit. Everything is destroyed, including a military airfield in Crimea. Judging by the smoke rising there, it is obvious that many planes and helicopters have been destroyed there. The Ukrainian military also carried out a number of strikes on ammunition depots on the border with Crimea. The Russians suffered very heavy casualties today. That's another proof that the Russian S-300 and S-400 air defense systems cannot intercept the latest American missiles. Tourists and locals are trying to leave the region, but large traffic jams have formed. Many people have already begun to leave the Crimean Peninsula for mainland Russia. Probably people are sure that the Crimean bridge will be destroyed. It is already evident that Ukraine received the Atakim's missiles faster than the Russians expected. This came as a surprise for the Russian military, since at first they began to deny the fact of the hit. But the videos of witnesses are the most apparent evidence. But after some time, a state of emergency was declared in Crimea, and the area around the destroyed military base was cornered off by the military, and the residents were evacuated. Ukraine promises to start clearing Crimea of Russia's military infrastructure in the coming days. So stay tuned for the news! The Crimean bridge and the headquarters of the Russian naval fleet in Sevastopol may be destroyed. And we are also watching the reaction of the Russians. Today, former US State Department Special Representative Kurt Volker said that Russia has already used about half of its military and weapons, and due to the lack of microchips and other technologies, they cannot produce new missiles and equipment. They are now fighting at the maximum of their capabilities. Therefore, we expect that in August there will be a qualitative change in favor of Ukraine.